it's better to be late than never right how are you all doing happy sunday happy sunday everyone welcome to sunday chit chat with chichi beauty what we're gonna be doing today we are gonna talk about the skin it's just been a while since i am on the live platform and I miss you all. But guess what? While I was away, I hope you all were doing your regular duty by taking care of your skin. It's all about the skin. You know, sometimes we tend to stray. Sometimes we tend to just uh, slow down. But at the end of the day, it all goes back to taking care of you. Welcome to our live. Today, we are going to share seven common skin issues and remedies that you can use to help to take care and get rid of these skin issues. Now we have skin issues such as hyperpigmentation on the skin, hyperpigmentation falls on the dark spots, blemishes, and any form of a minor scrapes on the skin. We also have textured skin, which are those uh, small bumps that comes on the skin that when you touch them, they feel rough, but at the same time, there is no opening. Those are textured. We also have dark on the eye circles. We have collagen loss of collagen we're going to share some tips and how you can boost the collagen we also have wrinkles such as the forehead wrinkles we're going to talk a little about that we're also going to talk about the crow's feet and upper mouth wrinkles and guess what another thing we're going to um refer to is how to lift tighten and firm the skin so welcome if you have a skin issue and you want to ask you know any question on it uh, feel free to ask also if you're joining us for the first time let us know that you're joining us by you know commenting in the comment section below so i have been missing in action for a while a week i think which seems like a year <laughs> It feels like I haven't been on this platform for a while, but guess what? You girls need some rest and you girls need a little break, you know, but this week we are back up and running and I am proud to announce that on Tuesday we are going to have our weekdays with Chichi Beauty and we might consider Thursday also. So stay tuned for that. Now, when it comes on to our 25 day skincare challenge that is over but we'll start that back sometime in august and we also have our um the 25 day skincare challenge there was something else that we were doing anyway just went by oh our weight loss challenge which we're going to start back when the um the winter season run about september or so but while you are there still trying to lose your weight go ahead and keep doing what you're doing and i am doing the same so welcome to all any remedy that you have also that you're using that is working for you feel free to share it with us especially if you're using one of our remedies so go ahead and share 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 let's do a quick shout out to everyone we have jason who was pretty early on the shot we also have Margaret and Maya and someone was saying that Keisha was missing um, earlier on the chat we hope that she's doing well and everything is working fine now if you're just joining um, the way this chat work is that you ask whatever question you want in the comment section below you also share tips if you have any and if you're new we also ask you to comment so that we can give you your little welcome shout out now the first thing we want to talk about is wrinkles since most people tend to struggle with some of these issues issues we're addressing are wrinkles of forehead laugh line upper lips we're also addressing dark on the eye circles. We are addressing pigmentation on the skin. We are also going to share tips on how to lift, tighten, and firm the skin, and also share tips on how to boost the collagen production, basically transforming your skin. Welcome, Cynthia, to the show. Cynthia Wallace. We also have Rita, which is 3PH Gaming. We have Taryn. We also have um, um, Christina Garrett. Welcome. And I noticed some new names. We have Janella Brown, first time. Welcome to our live. We have Sandra Springer, Happy Sunday. Um, Fendi Vaz, welcome. Sherry Dufuni, our FRE Fernie. Um, Dufurney or Dufurney, tell me if I'm wrong. And we also have Magdalene, welcome to the chat. Now, if you struggle with wrinkles, 
first of all, let's talk about how we get wrinkles. We tend to get wrinkles by loss of collagen production, but we also tend to get wrinkles depending on our environment. We also tend to get wrinkles depending on how we eat, how well, you know, we take care of our body. Now, collagen is one of the most abundant protein in the body. That is what gives the skin the firmness, the tightness, and that is basically what keeps your skin looking firm. When people go out and they get a procedure done where they try to fill their face with sometimes it's fat, sometimes it's other stuff that they just like inject in their face to give it the firmness. What they are trying to do is just to take the place of the collagen because it has diminished. Now people can have um, wrinkles on their skin because they're stressed stress believe it or not you can also get wrinkles from the, from exposure to sunlight you can also get wrinkles depending on the way you even sleep the way you frown the way you make up your face how angry you are all you are at all the time like you're always mad you can find all these kind of wrinkles you can find wrinkles on your forehead when you express yourself with your forehead and you are continuously expressing yourself like way wah, there you know some people do tend to talk with their forehead and their eyes and that could create wrinkles but as i said the most important the most um um don't forget my gift i am from new york and that is auntie now for okay auntie we're gonna address the gift um later on in the show but most people are going to be getting well everyone should get their gift next week next week that oh the week is already here this week by the end of uh, this week so stay tuned now um where was i when i got that little distraction from auntie anyway let's talk about the collagen so when this collagen slow down what you're going to notice very first thing you might notice is that your skin is going to feel a little softer okay you're going to feel a little softer that can also happen when you tend to lose weight but less for for most um when the collagen slow down how early in life does this happen it's everyone is different but by the time you hit your late 20s I, I honestly would say from the time you're 25 on you should start taking care of your face your skin and a whole because collagen is gonna slow down but you're gonna notice that more so in your late 30s upwards you're gonna it's gonna be more noticeable so what do you do to prevent all of this you eat a healthy diet and you can find um collagen rich bright color vegetable is the way to go bright color anything that you're consuming is the way to go purple orange blue um pink you know yellow all of those bright color purple potato is good you have purple cabbage and beetroot you have um yellow vegetable like squash like papaya um yellow peppers and you also have from the pink family like you have pink grapefruit what else we find out there that is pink i'm gonna put some of the berries in that bracket like you know like um raspberries and all of that you also have other things like the dark green 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 like spinach and kale all of those are really good for helping you to boost collagen okay so if you're trying to look for a way to boost it topically on the skin, then you can use collagen rich oils such as that is rich in vitamin A, such as rosehip oil, cacao oil, papaya seed oil, you name it. And notice that all these oils that I'm just referring to also um, the, um, comes from bright color fruits and vegetables so how do you get rid of this wrinkle the very first thing and the very the easiest way to help with getting rid of wrinkles on the skin is to massage the skin massage the skin am and pm if you have that time if not at least two to three times per week that is the cheapest way to smooth the wrinkles and fine lines is that boots and collagen in the skin yes how is it boots and collagen by just massaging it's boots circulation and when you have circulation going on then there comes the blood flow and when the blood start to flow and everything start to work very very well it pumped the system up and it keep everything looking younger and fresher so that's number one tip to get rid of wrinkles now not only wrinkles on the forehead but wrinkles everywhere on even on the neck once you keep massaging another thing that you can do is to use a skin tightening remedy which we will get to let me take a few questions i feel like i'm not feeling you today so 
let me see who is here no uh mod uh motorola please can you okay let's see what motorola is saying uh please what can i do to clean my forehead because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face thanks very much and I'm, I'm gonna answer that question so keep it right there because we have that question a lot not a lot but we tend to get this question a bit so we're gonna discuss it since we're talking about the forehead cheryl love all your videos on youtube you're amazing and beautiful thank you for that comment um cheryl and let's see who else is here with another comment because we're going to get back to um um do you have any experience with drinking chlorophyll no 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 this this is like for my daytime show okay and if anyone don't know what chlorophyll is it's what give the plants the green color which i don't know if you're like a well some people might know what the chlorophyll is but um, Sherry, I think that is an amazing question for the daytime show, but I have no experience in drinking chlorophyll. I think the most chlorophyll I get is from eating spinach and callaloo and all these things. And you might be like, do you get chlorophyll from eating those vegetables? Yes, you do. But I'm actually going to write this down because this would make a very interesting topic, okay? It really would make a very interesting topic. And if I don't write it down, I am going to um, forget all about it. But definitely, Cheryl, you, 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 do you notice that sometimes when you're looking for a pen, um, you always end up getting a pen that just don't work. All right, I'm just jotting it down for me to remember to address it. All right, all right, so let's go back. Um, let's see what Sharon is saying. I got some rose hip oil and, it, and it's deep orange. Is it normal? That is very, very normal. As a matter of fact, the better rose hip oil that you can find is orange, okay? The better rose hip oil that you can find is orange. The, the, the bud that they get the rose hip oil from that little, little, um, flower pod that is left after the petal of the roses has fallen off. The, 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 those are normally orange, okay? Those are normally orange. And I think I showed it before on the channel what it should look like, but that is where you get the orange color from. Whenever you find the rose hip oil that is less orange more diluted okay less orange more diluted and i'm gonna try to see if i could um pull up the 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 rose um the, to show you what it looked like so these are let me show you a good picture now if you can look at my phone and i hope you can see you see how orange those are that is what it looks like that is that is the rose plant right after the petal has fallen off and this is not the regular rose your regular roses guys these are more let's say the the more um bushy type like though these you find you know elsewhere i notice in new york they tend to plant some of these like they make edges and so on with them but that is the color very very much orange so the more orange the rose hip oil is is the better and i personally like when i get my rose hip oil it's more on the orange side when it's on the lighter slight orange side i feel like it's more diluted very very good question now jamie i've been making the lemon drink but it never comes out right now which one of the lemon drink you're making are you making the one where i use the lemon zest portion is very 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 important because if you overdo it it might taste a little bitter okay but let me know which one you are trying to make your video helped me a lot mom edu blessing thank you for that now um I want to go back to to a question that was asked about the forehead and i got to stray right back so now here is a question what can i do to clean my forehead because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face the honest truth is the the darkness of <laughs> and do not take this the wrong way you have a big forehead right and i'm not even looking on your picture while i'm saying that and a lot of us have you know a more extended forehead now when you have a more extended forehead and you're in the sun a lot where the sun is gonna it is on your forehead okay now if you take a look on my face 
there are two places on my face that can get much darker if I'm out in the sun. As a matter of fact, during the summertime, if I'm out and about a lot outside, you're going to find a part of my forehead and you're also going to find my upper cheekbones right here. And my chin is not going to get it. That is because my cheekbones are on the higher side, which is where the sun is going to land. And it's also going to land right here on my forehead. And that is the reason why I'm assuming because I haven't seen your picture or anything like that. But in most instances, if you're in the sun a lot, where the sun hit your face is going to be darker. Regardless of your shade, whether you're on the whitest spectrum or the darkest spectrum of the scale, you are going to find those area much darker. You need a good sunscreen. You need a very good sunscreen. And the way your face is, you can choose to just use your sunscreen on your forehead. For me, I could just you know, wing it if I want to use a little sunscreen on my forehead and a little sunscreen on my cheekbones because that's where the sun is eating. I want to ask you a question really, really quick and, and, and just give us an answer. Are you out in the sun a lot? Now, to answer the question, nothing is wrong. Your face is not dirty. It is just being darker because most likely the sun is. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Now, when you're taking care of your skin, you're going to try the spot treatment remedy. The spot treatment remedy is that you are going to use and try to use something with a little aloe vera gel in it, and you're going to spot treat. At night, you can apply a skin brightening moisturizer or a skin brightening oil or a skin brightening cream on your forehead but you also need to add a little bit of an um, aloe vera which is going to have a cooling effect to the skin because we are i am just assuming right now that it might be from the sun and if anyone is watching and you have any um answer for um motorola go ahead and comment now let me see who is commenting and motorola i want to okay let's see here is your comment. All right. So no wrong one. I click on. All right. I don't really go out much. You don't really go out much, but you'd be surprised whenever you're going out. Do you put some sunscreen? As a matter of fact, how long has this been going on? And all of those things you got to take into consideration. But uh, Try the spot treatment remedy. Apply skin brightening and make sure, make sure, make sure to use your sunscreen. Even if you're only going to use your sunscreen on your forehead, once you are going outside, definitely use that sunscreen. Another question is how long um, do you have this, you know, darker forehead thing going on? Now, uh, more... Um, Mabanga, what should I use to get rid of dark skin on the nose? Now, dark skin on the nose, there's two ways that you can have your nose looking darker. One, you have a whole set of blackhead and whitehead in your nose, okay? And yes, that happened. And the next thing is just what we were talking about with the sunshine, the, the too much overexposure to the sun. The next thing that can act, um, cause that is over over harassing your nose constantly pushing up your nose try to get rid of blackheads and whiteheads from your nose can irritate your nose and cause it to have a, a darker appearance now we need to know from you what is the issue here do you have a lot of blackheads on your nose or do you tend to you know, press and squeeze your nose a lot now it started about five months ago and within that five months did you have any form of uh, you know exposure to the sun as a matter of fact it started or did you not notice it but let me know did you um have any form of uh, exposure to being out in the sun now someone want to know what is the best sunscreen now the reason why i do not you know give like a a, a brand when it comes on to sunscreen is because i'm dealing with you know people worldwide and you're going to use the sunscreen that is available to you what you need to know is the ingredient and most sunscreen contains some form of aloe vera gel okay most sunscreens can in some form of an aloe vera gel. Now, everyone's skin is different and you need to know how much um, percentage um, can you take. Some, you know, some country recommend 25, some 
15 per SPF we're talking about. Some people recommend 15, some 20, some 25, some 30, all the way up to 75. I suggest that you go somewhere in the middle of that, run about a 35 to, to 45, somewhere there and test. Whatever you are, when, wherever you live, um, you get a sunscreen and you read the back and make sure that it have mostly natural ingredient in it. We did a video once where I talk about all the difference, the SPF and all of that. I think I'm going to venture into it another time so people could actually know exactly what to look for when they are looking for a sunscreen. I'm going to try to remember and post the link below this video because I went in full blast detail teaching people exactly how to read the panel, how to read the ingredients list on their sunscreen and so on and so forth. Don't remember the title of that video off and, but I will try to link it below when the video is done. Now, um, Rhonda, I made my own body scrub. I use pink salt and all almond oil and coconut oil. I purchased the pink salt at my local health store. It works great. And that is an amazing, amazing, amazing body scrub. Now, when it comes on to body scrub, some people prefer sugar, some people prefer salt. For a good body scrub, I like to mix some, sometimes the two, a little sugar and a little salt, but this combination here is good. Now for everyone that is watching, I basically repost a body scrub that I made a few years ago and I posted, I think yesterday or so. That body scrub is also amazing. We use coffee and we mix it with sugar. You can also use the coffee, you can mix it with the salt and the pink salt, I know some people might not have access to it, and one day I'm going to come on and I'm going to share the difference in the salt for you, whether you have the white salt, the pink salt, or the black salt, okay? Now, personally for me, I use all three. I use the white, which is IS in iodine, and I use the pink, and I also use the black, which is iron in sulfur. We'll talk about that another time, but definitely boost circulation, definitely the salt will will get you there. Very, very good combination of ingredient. Now we have Sandra. Okay, Sandra is answering somebody. I use sunscreen on the makeup. All beauty products also can add some. Okay, so the honest truth is, let's address this really, really quick. I did not see the, the question where you're answering um, Sandra. Sandra want to know something about sunscreen. Right now, in my view, I'm not seeing your comment, Sandra. So, okay, can you, all right, here is the comment. Can you put the sunscreen on top of your beauty products? Okay, this is a very, 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 very good question, okay? Now, let me let me make things clear. When it comes on to, okay, beauty products, if we're talking about beauty products, it's we're not talking about makeup, okay? It's two different things. Yes, all beauty product, all products, whether it's makeup, fall on the beauty product. But most likely when you ask a question like this, I already know that you're referring to your moisturizer, your serum, and your facial toner, and then you're, you're referring to your sunscreen. Now, depending on where you live, different countries have different regulation. Here in America, a daytime moisturizer have to have a sunscreen that's the law okay they cannot put daytime on it unless it have sunscreen okay now other country might not it might just be moisturizer so the 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 person that answer you just now um christina i think answer you that she wear the sunscreen under the makeup if you're asking about the beauty products and you're referring to the toner, this is how you apply it. You apply the facial toner first, then you apply your facial serum, you apply your facial moisturizer. It's daytime, you can skip the oil or you can skip the moisturizer and use a drop of oil. And on top of that, you apply the sunscreen. Now, when you use your makeup, then that is gonna cover over. The makeup is actually put in an extra layer over that sunscreen as i said depending on where you live and if you're using a daytime moisturizer it also is going to contain some form of a sunscreen so the layering of the product the last thing that you put on 
over your moisturizer is the sunscreen and on top of the sunscreen you put it over the makeup there's no way you can put your sunscreen atop of your makeup you're still now some people would question that and like oh i prefer to put the sunscreen directly on my skin no once you layer the products and the sunscreen is there it still is going to give you that vital protection that you need for your skin very very good question and very good answer um christina all right, we're moving on. Sharon, Chichi, what about you when your legs rub? What can you use to lighten it? Now, we have a lot of remedy on this channel showing you how to lighten the darker areas, which is known as the inner thigh. Now, one of the reasons why I don't make most of those videos, which now they kind of ease up on a little bit, you know, they kind of lighten up a bit on this platform. So maybe I can start by making those videos and I might try one and see what happened. But you you can get the same body scrub that you use for those area you can use it right there okay the same scrub that you use for your entire like the one i post yesterday is very very good for that area for the inner ties you got to do it more often though i also suggest and this is uh, our channel here is a wash rock channel okay it's a wash rock channel you when you rub, when your, your ties tend to rub together and it create that friction, that is why it create that dark, darker area. Now, exfoliating that area help and with a rag, wash rug or with um with a body scrub, but you also need to apply moisturizer to that area on a regular like am and pm you have to have a good moisturizer another thing also is to keep the area pretty pretty dry okay whatever material you're wearing your clothes you got to be mindful of that because sometimes it's going to get even darker especially when you wear like jeans and so on and so forth so protect it by exfoliating and moisturizing just the way you do the rest of your 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 body but focus definitely more with the exfoliating twice a week and if you use a wash rug every day that you use the wash rug definitely the rubbing the rubbing and some squatting okay the rubbing some squatting right you're gonna get those legs toned up so anyway i know exactly what you are talking about and you have um skin lightening um remedies and creams and i have a very a video on i i can't um i have a video share that is on this platform and i think i have probably like about nine million views on that video how to get rid of the dark inner ties i am going to put the link below the video when i'm done for you and you can actually watch that that remedy that's the reason why it gets so much views it's really good it's really work okay but as i promised i might start making back a few of those videos since the system has actually lightened up a bit and give us a little more room to you know discuss these issues but definitely i'll put the video in the link below all right if you're just joining what are we talking about we are addressing common and skin issues such as dark spot blemishes you name it and we're even talking about darker inner thighs okay now we have someone with what do you use when when you have dark knees first of all you need to when you're kneeling get a knee pad okay um that is just me being funny the same thing that you use to exfoliate your skin you use it on your knees always remember it's dead skin cells all right that's the harder part and it's more cluster it's like a lot of a cluster that is there so no matter who you are your knees tend to have a less um brighter shade than the rest of your body it doesn't matter what spectrum of the scale you are however you need to exfoliate those area the, the 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 harder area knees and your elbows need more exfoliating even than the rest of your body okay so when you exfoliate you massage and you moisturize just like the rest of your body and that can lighten it some somewhat like really really just do it you don't even have to use any skin lightening cream on this area once you exfoliate on a regular and hydrate hydration is key for your knees and your elbow the reason why the dead skin cell they always look dry i tend to get mine looking dry pretty often too but if you practice to to moisturize and you can use a oil coconut oil olive oil and that's the beauty of this area any of those oil and remember to just add that extra moisturizer to it 
every day you're on your way to having them looking brighter and clearer and basically even skin tone how do we keep sunscreen from white on our skin all right this is actually a very 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 good question now not all sunscreen not all sunscreen is going to leave that white um, residue you have the sunscreen that is in a form of a cream and you have sunscreen that is just all gel okay all gel personally for me i like the all gel because most of those have more aloe vera gel however the reason why your sunscreen look a little white on your skin is because you're using too much a lot of people think that more is more when it comes on to sunscreen more is not more okay you just need that nice little thin layer over the skin and it's gonna get the job done you don't need to use the entire tube of sunscreen to be protected from the sun so cut back on the amount you're using and warm it up in your hands okay when you're applying it squeeze the little top warm it up and then you apply it on your skin and massage it when you just apply as i said most people think more is more not with sunscreen so cut back on the amount that you are using now carlene stewart good evening chichi i'm trying the facial stuff and i'm getting excellent results i have dark on the eye circles and that clear up also and i have old on my face and they are closing up as well and i remember your comments and i'm actually happy to see and to hear that the holes are closing up because i remember when you made that um original comment about the holes and i take a at least five minutes just really getting into full details about the reason why you have those holes on the face and the fact that you come back and comment i'm very very honored and i'm really happy that you are seeing results from simply taking care of the skin antonette how do you keep sunscreen okay i just read that now if you're just joining welcome we are talking about skincare issues seven common ones the common ones are wrinkles dark circles a pigmentation on the skin and you know we venture out into some other if you have a question anything about skincare you want to know go ahead and ask we have um shira i have pigmentation on my private what can i use now when it comes on to that area um you got to know what kind of a pigmentation it is. Does this pigmentation cause from ingrowns? Because there's a lot of people that have an ingrown situation going on. Does it cause from excess shaving? Some people tend to get, you know, when you shave too much, all those kind of things goes on. You might, and, and I'm going to make a little fun, um, you know, thing about it that, um, well, most time no one else has seen it but you, right? Um, I'm just trying to be funny, but no. Yes, I can understand what you're saying. Think about what you're doing to that area that is creating this pigmentation, okay? Most women, it's from ingrown here, okay? And when you have that ingrown and the, it's not, and I'm, I think hopefully nowadays, I might be able to make a video addressing that area without going into graphic details things has lighten up a little bit on our platform right here so it might be and that's why i'm even answering this question now when you as some women when they have that ingrown and the grease and the dirt yes you still have grease and dirt there remember it's also closed there are no a lot of times there's not enough here eating there then sometimes those little 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 um um, frolicers, the hair root tend to form into blackheads also, just like the rest of your body. I suggest, and as I said, this is a, a wash rug channel. If you haven't been using a wash rug down there, get one. Use just one just for down there, okay? And scrub a rubber, scrub a scrub a scrub a scrub a scrub. Inner ties, upper fat. Fata, fata, fata area just give that a good exfoliating because it those ear follicles need to be clean just like the rest of your body and that will cut down on the pigmentation that is going on if i am wrong about you know the 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 the, the shaving and all of that comment comment and if anyone have any um you know advice for the darker areas go ahead and comment also all right so we have um how do i get rid of small skin growth that forms on my nose now small skin growth are we talking about warts 
Are we talking about what some people call skin tags? I'm almost sure that's what you're talking about. And I like to smile when I get this because, you know, when you start to age, some people call them age spot, believe it or not. Things like this is going to happen. Sometimes they pop up at places that we really do not want them to pop up. Mine tend to pop up somewhere um, right off here. Some people get it popping up on their nose. Some people get it pop up on their forehead. Some people get a little one popping up on the cheek. Most time we do not like them, but they are. They come with age and most people will get at least one in their lifetime. So we're all going to have one of those little things popping up somewhere or the other on the body. I like to use home remedies and I use um, one of my favorite is the same banana peel. The inner part of the banana peel, crush that up with some apple cider vinegar. That actually works for me. Remember, everyone's skin is different. So what worked for me might not work for you, but that is the one that I see the most result from. I also have a wide variety of remedies, you know, on my channel that you can look into. You're going to spot treat however. So you're going to use it, the Q-tip method. Whatever remedy you're using, you just rub that Q-tip in it and just spot treat that area. All right, moving on. Hello, Hamina. How are you? Hello, running late. The pigmentation in the private can be solved by what is now called um, a vaguvenation. I have seen it in one of YouTube channels. So I'm going to write that down and I'm going to look and see. And if this is a form of a, is a vaccination, venation, um, vagoon let's see if i can pronounce this vaguvination vaguvination i have no clue so i am going to look up this one i always learn something and that's what i like so you have seen it where it can so we're going to look into that and see what is going on thank you for that um aminia definitely will look into that all right so um um can i can lemon and tomato on the face? Yes. Now, the honest truth is I do not mix lemon with tomato, okay? I do not mix lemon and tomato together. I like them separately. And the reason for that is the acid. You're going to find the acid in the tomato. You're going to find the acid in the, the lemon. That is really a too much of a strong combination on the skin. So separately, you can use lemon. You get vitamin C from lemon and you can use the tomato. Both are skin brightening remedies, skin brightening ingredients. So if you have dull skin and you're looking to brighten the skin, in the tomato, you have lipopene, which also work as a skin brightener and the tomato and the, and the lemon, you have the citric acid. Now you can choose to mix them. If you have sensitive skin, do not use lemon directly on the skin. Mix it with something. So you're going to either juice it add some water to it and use it and you can also mix it with you know other stuff like a little oil for tomato i would suggest that you mix it with like some yogurt can you use tomato directly on the skin yes you can but if you have sensitive sensitive skin definitely test it out so separate okay not together is what i would recommend and i like to use both on my skin in as you know in a in in separate uh mixing with different ingredients brooklyn new york good evening chichi if i Massage my eyes with the oil without using the parsley and cucumber treatment. Will the eye bags go? Very, 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 very good question. And the answer to that is yes. The massaging is the key, believe it or not. The massaging is the key. The, the rest of the ingredients, those are the leave-on. The cucumber and the parsley are the leave-on. What is what those do? They're going to reduce the wrinkles. They're going to help to fade the, 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 the dark on the eye circles. They're also going to help to boot a circulation. And when you apply the massaging technique to it, it kick it up a notch. If you own the massage for eye bags, Yes, you still will get rid of the eye bags because your boots in the circulation, the parsley and the cucumber are added benefit that not only going to shrink the eye bags, but give your eyes, you know, the area around your eyes, a younger appearance and also control the dark on the eye circles. Very, 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 very good question. Nobody's going to see the parts. No, Jill, we're not. You, you, honestly, I could just start going on and on. Anyway, we gotta we gotta we gotta keep it. Um, all right, so um, so, uh, 
sometimes sometimes people are people see sometimes people see and sometimes people don't see and sometimes some people have more than one people seeing okay now it's anyway let's 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 not take on jill today all right so we are moving in and and you know sometimes i wish this platform was a little bit more you know friendly to us where we could talk about things um a little more and make things a little lighter anyway let's move on how can i get out black mark on my cheeks and see what i'm saying your cheeks black cheek black that's sun sunscreen 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 now we have someone with sensitive skin okay i have sensitive skin and i use tomato on my skin and i love it now let's 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 think about this the the way the skin work is that your skin is sensitive my skin is sensitive and our friend's skin is sensitive however it's a different level of sensitivity the fact that i have sensitive skin i might be able to use some um things and i explained this on my show before um i might be able to use tomato you have sensitive skin also but you might not be able to use the tomato and so on and so forth and that's why i'm always you know pointing out that everyone's skin is different and the most important thing to do is to know your skin when you know your skin you know what it can tolerate a good way to really get to know your skin is to watch our 25 day skincare challenge videos okay the challenge is over but you the printout is there you can go on my website chichibuti.com and you can get the printout you can also go um send for the printout chichibuti at gmail.com and then you can look below or go on my channel page and watch the videos in the playlist 25 day skincare challenge if you watch some of those videos and do the printout you will definitely get to know your skin and once you know your skin to a t then you can know how to treat your skin because you're going to know your skin type you're going to know your skin issues you're going to know how to spot treat you're going to just know how to take care of your skin overall so check that out and get to know your skin jane okay i just read that i had bad acne in the summer i used lemon acid my skin is sensitive is potato good for acne now the recipe the remedy that i normally share for now you know when you have acne on the skin there's a whole set of things that you need to do i normally share this simple 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 ingredient simple simple remedy with a lot of people especially people that is not even on this platform because a lot of people have like younger you know children and so on and so for teenagers that have acne and this is what i normally tell them you can use the regular things that you're using on your skin you just need an antibacterial products and the one that i swear by for acne is tea tree oil i personally don't like the smell of it but it's really effective if you're gonna use lemon you you have bad acne you said you have sensitive skin however you can use lemon on the skin and that's what i was just talking about everyone's skin is different even the different level of sensitivity i would suggest that you take that tea tree oil and you add it to whatever you are using yes you can use potato because the potato especially when you use the potato starch it have absorbing properties and it's going to help to absorb the excess oil the best remedy for your skin however is oatmeal and rice oatmeal absorbing rice absorbing rice is good because it's not it does not create any form of a reaction to most skin type even to sensitive skin and you get that tea tree oil and you make your regular remedy using the oatmeal using the rice and all you need is one to two drops of the tea tree oil you can even make a good oil blend using like some grapeseed oil and you add a little tea tree oil to it mix it up and use it on your face make sure you do the regular step of steaming your face exfoliating gentle and you can blend the rice to exfoliate the skin or the oatmeal to exfoliate the skin keep that clean skin clean keep your fingers off your face and you're on your way to beautiful looking skin give it a go and come back and leave a comment lana i use mayonnaise green tea egg but um eye bag remedy is the best for is 
is the best of the best just amazing and that is actually one of my remedy and i love that remedy also what a lot of people are not aware of is the fact that a mayonnaise is made up of oil and egg okay mayonnaise is made up of oil and egg and that is what you're getting well they do put preservative in it but those are the two main ingredients in mayonnaise so if you have mayonnaise and you don't mind using egg on your skin guess what guys you can use the mayonnaise on the skin very very hydrating it's all oil and that's why sometimes you find mayonnaise with avocado oil mayonnaise with sunflower seed oil mayonnaise with olive oil because it's just oil and egg and you can even make your own homemade get your blender put an egg in it and pour some oil in it and put some seasoning in it and blend it up and pour it out it's mayonnaise okay all right very very good love it love it love it also all right so we are moving on if you're just joining welcome 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 and if you have a question for us we're taking questions and we're sharing tips and how to get rid of wrinkles on the face pigmentation dark on the eye circles sagging skin you name it whatever you have whatever question you have go ahead and ask and don't just watch and not comment 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 let us hear from you so that we can answer your question and if this is your first time watching if you're watching from facebook a warm welcome to all my facebook watchers and if you're watching from our regular platform which is the youtube platform welcome to you also now diana how much water should i use when drawing the green tea now what are you using the green tea for are you using the green tea for a facial toner or are you using the green tea to mix with other remedy are you using it for dark on the eye circles the reason why i ask that question is because different whatever you're using it for i use personally i use different strength okay if i'm using the green tea for my dark on the eye circles i don't use more than like two tablespoons to three tablespoons of water because i want it really really strong if i'm using it for a facial um toner then i'm gonna use like two tea bags to a cup of water okay and and so on and so forth so know what you're using it for for on the eyes less water for facial toner, more water, okay? But specify, let me know exactly what you are trying to make right here. Now, um, let's see, I'm trying to um, not, I say indoor most of the time. All right, so since you say indoor most of the time, that is just popping up on their face. You're finding that your forehead is getting a little darker. What I want you to, to do, and I want you to start exfoliating, okay? Give it a try this week and see what happened. You're gonna exfoliate the face, um, meaning using a facial scrub, you could do a quick DIY, we have a lot on the channel, and you are also gonna make sure to apply your beauty products. You're gonna use your facial toner, your facial serum, your facial moisturizer. You're gonna massage your skin every night. Now. You can figure you can watch my 25 day skincare challenge to know exactly how to come up with your facial toner your serum and your moisturizer a good quick and easy facial toner is just simply some green tea or some cucumber water for the facial serum you can use some aloe vera gel and you can add little other things to it we have a lot on the channel and for your moisturizer you can choose some use some oils or you can choose to use a blend of oils like we have but just start putting a little more effort into taking care of the skin and you are gonna see what happened. Another thing that I would suggest you get, you get that wash rug and you wash your face with it in between you're using your facial scrub. Give it a try for a week and then come back and let me hear what happened. If you can get your hands on some aloe vera gel or even the fresh aloe vera gel, just rub it across that forehead daily okay just rub it across that for it daily give it a little time to work use it for the first week and come back next week and let me hear from you however i suggest you also send a picture so i can i'm just winging it because i'm not seeing what you're talking about so send us a picture at chichibuti at gmail.com and let me take a look at it okay all right very very important no, well, um, okay, so I did answer. If you're just joining, we're trying to take questions. I scroll back just to find some question from that I might have missed. We are addressing dark circles, puffy eyes, wrinkles on the forehead, wrinkles on the face. We're also discussing, okay, so here is a question. I you to please remedy for eye bags. I'm 30 and I've struggled for a long time, starting in my 20s. If you were watching earlier, I'm sure you already get 
a remedy for those eye baths. I just mentioned that you can actually massage the under eyes. I, if you look in our 25 day skincare challenge, you're going to find a video under the, under the lineup of videos that is dedicated only to the eyes. We talk about cleaning the eyes. We talk about, you know, products to use under the eyes. We talk about massaging. We even talk about how to wash the under eyes properly to clear it from all the different considerate common skin issues. Okay. So check that video out. One of the best two combination of ingredient, which someone just mentioned is the cucumber and the parsley. You can blend those two together. You can juice them and you can just put it in the refrigerator, get two cotton pads, soak it up, put it over that, over your eyes, 30 minutes, you take it off and you do the massage. The massage is pretty easy two fingers like this and you dab it under, especially the part that you have those eye bags. You have to do this every day, every day. And if you can do it twice a day, it's good for you. You don't have to put the, the remedy over your eyes every day. You can do that two to three times a week, but the massage, you do it AM and PM. Do it for a week straight, okay? Do it for a week straight. And if you're not exactly sure how to do it, watch those videos. But all you need is a two finger like this and you pat it under like that fast, 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 and learn to clean the areas around the eyes so that whatever product you're using will absorb much easier, okay? Definitely check out the video, do it for a week and come back next week and let me hear your result. You know how you lose collagen under the eyes? How do you boost collagen under the eyes? The massage, the massage. And I really want you all to watch that. Um, I wish I had it prepared. If I had it prepared, I would have pulled it up for you all to see how to do it. You lose the collagen under the eyes. You need circulation to boost back that collagen. You also need to use um, ingredient topically that is rich in vitamin A, just like the cacao oil, the bachi oil, which is really, really good. You also have the rose hip oil, the, um, the squalene oil, or avocado oil, avocado oil. You use those oil that's going to have to boost that collagen along with the circulation. The trick is to clean the areas around the eyes. So when you apply these products, these rich vitamin A products, it's uh, get absorbed deeply. And with massaging, the circulation is going, the products is absorbing, it will help to plump it up really, really well. Okay, give it a try. Just give it a try for this week and see what happens. It will help tremendously, but you got to do it over and over and over. It's have to be like an addition to your skincare routine. I made the cucumber and parsley last week. So let me hear from you, Taryn. You have been using it for one week. Are you seeing any result? Comment, 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 comment. Now we have um, Pam Oiti. Um, I love the recipe. Recently made your even retinol oil. It is amazing. And thank you for that. And if you guys are not sure what she's talking about, I make a facial oil that is rich in vitamin A. If you know nothing about vitamin A, it is simply the same as retinol. Retinol is really vitamin A and vitamin A is a, a an antioxidant that will help to boost the collagen, plump the skin up, good for wrinkles and fine lines, and also good for keeping the skin looking younger for longer. Okay. All right. So um, let's hear um, um, Christina, judging my face at reddish tone, any remedies? Also, is this called hyperpigmentation? Um, different skin colors show hyperpigmentation in a different way. There's a thin line between hyperpigmentation, especially when your skin is lighter to rosacea. Now you can know the difference because one is going to itch and one is just going to be there. Yes. If your skin is lighter, it is got use this red spot is going to be hyperpigmentation. But as I said, it's a very, very, very thin line. You got to know if the spots just pop up out of nowhere, all of a sudden they're on there, they're itching and all of that, definitely consult your doctor. If when you have a pimple on your face, you squeeze that pimple, let's say even a blackhead, or you get a little pimple during that special time, you squeeze it and when it's dried, what is left is a red mark, then then it's pigmentation on the skin, okay? So as I said, depending on your skin. How do you get rid of pigmentation on the skin? You spot treat those spots. You get a skin brightening remedy and you just spot treat it. If you 
you want to know exactly how to spot treat while still using your beauty products, then watch the 25 days skincare challenge. I'm going to number those videos with a title so it's easy to find. But yes, it could be hyperpigmentation on the skin. All right, so let's move on. Um, remedy for didn't finish reading. If you're just joining, welcome. We are just, you know, sharing tips and how to get rid of simple, most common skin concern. Now, because you mentioned, um, this question, I am going to skip over that because I'm not supposed to give advice. So we are moving on. Send an email to chichibuti at gmail.com. Hi, Joy. Hi, Chichi. I just want to know how to use the Fenugreek Geek seed. Now, Fenugreek, Geek, I have, um, some in the house right now. Okay. A lot of people, all right. What I was going to say, I, anyway, there's a lot of people who are really using Fenugreek. Geek. Okay. It comes with a lot of benefits. It's good for hair. It's good for nails. It's good for female issues. It's good for cleaning out things in the body. It have a lot of um, a lot of use. So, skincare wise, to use a Fenugreek, geek, best use it in your hair. Okay, blend it to a powder. You brew, it. and I actually have a video on that where I show you how to use the Fenugreek geek as a hair wash, where it can help to help to get rid of bald spot it helped with dandruff it helped to regrow that here however the other benefits of the fennec geek you could actually boil it drink it as tea and there's a lot of claims out there where when it comes on to medical issues that we won't get into right now but in terms of remedy then you can use it for your hair i have more things to say but if you notice i'm just beating around the bushes beating around the bushes because i don't want to make any false false claim about the Fenny Geek if you're going to use it in a different form, but I definitely will, you know, do a little quick thing, maybe a little eight minutes video and share some other insights instead of sharing it here because it do have many, many benefits. But the easiest one is off the bat, I could tell you, you could drink it as a tea for, you know, minor situation or you can use it in your hair. All right. But we're going to address it. OK, we definitely should address it since things is a little getting a little bit um, better. All right. So we are moving on. If you're just joining, we are basically talking about um, skin care. We are sharing seven common skin issue that, you know, you can use remedies to get rid of. And we talk about dark on the eye circles. We talk about eye bags. We talk about wrinkles on the forehead. And we also talk about boots and collagen in the skin, um, lifting, tightening, and spot treating the skin. We have five more minutes to go. So if you have a question, go ahead and ask it so that we can move on. How do you make the soap for the under eye? So someone is making some under eye soap and that is, and also if you're watching and you have not thumbs up the video, show some love to the channel by thumbsing up the video. If you're watching from Facebook, give us a like, give us a little emoji, just show some love. That is how the system know that you are enjoying the show and that, you know, you are a part of the show and that is how, how we also know that, you know, we can continue this uh, show. Now, someone wants to know how to get black marks from the cheeks. I did answer that. And um, so go ahead, guys. Question, question. I'm taking a few more. Hi, Key Washington. Hi, Juliana. Welcome. All right. So let's see this question. The last time I asked about my face being darker than the rest of my body, and you were spot on when you said it was the sun exposure. Anyway, my question is how oh, I correct that. So here we have someone coming back and asking about the, 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 the darker ears on the face. The best natural remedy that you can use is aloe vera gel. Whether you're using the store-bought or you're using the fresh aloe vera gel. So any remedy that I have with aloe vera gel, you can try that for the sunburn. I do have a recipe that is dedicated to just getting rid of sunburn. I actually saw it pop up on my feed the other day. I think I made it about two to three years ago. And 
it popped up because people were commenting that they've tried it and it worked. Hopefully I will remember to put it um, below the video. And that remedy is to help to lighten that area of the sunburn. And I do use aloe vera gel in it. However, please remember always to use your sunscreen. It's very, very important or get some fresh aloe vera. One remedy that I don't share on this channel is sunscreen. That's the only remedy I do make on this channel. I'll share a remedy to help to lighten sunburn, but never sunscreen because I don't know how to master the different amount percentage as of SPF. So I always suggest you can use all my natural remedies, but you get yourself a sunscreen. One tube of sunscreen lasts forever. Even if you're out in the sun every day, a little goes a long way. Protect your skin. Use your natural remedy. Use your oils. Use whatever, but get yourself a sunscreen and if you have no way of getting a sunscreen the next alternative is aloe vera gel okay now maya um should we expect the daytime show on tuesday yes 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 things is back up and running i did take a break like and most of you might know i take a break i really wanted to get a little rest so this the 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 live show is going to be back, midday show, on Tuesday. And we're still asking, whoever wants to be on the show, send us an email at chichibeauty at gmail.com. Now, when it comes on to next Sunday, guys, not sure if we're, for the first time, I might not have the show. And I use the word might because I might have to, I might not be, you know, in my little studio. However, I'm going to try my best to have the show. Even if I'm going to have the show maybe on my phone, but I'll see how it goes. But I definitely will put out a notification if I'm not going to have the show next week. So just come back next week and look because I don't like to miss the Sunday show. So I might do whatever it takes to have the show. But up and running in the week, we're going back to posting our weekly video 6 a.m. every morning, Eastern Standard Time. So depending on where you live, just wake up and look our video is going to be there okay every day we post a video and we are having our regular weekday show on tuesday okay we might do two days guys we might do tuesday and thursday but to kick start next week this week that is our daytime show is weekdays with chichi beauty tuesday 12 noon eastern standard time so be prepared for that now the winners for the gift we are mailing the gifts out everyone should be getting their gift this week by the end when you come back next week you should already have your gift so be mindful and look out for all those who actually and i hope you all have sent in your name so far some of you already have the names and if you don't have if i don't have it make sure you send your information to chichibuti at gmail.com. Who is the winner of the Mother Day gift basket? Did I miss the name? And you know something? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And thank you so much, Margaret, because I did not remember. I did not remember that I was going to feature it today because I didn't want to feature it in the weekday show. And I promised that I... So next week, I didn't have it right here. So next week, come back. If I don't, well, hopefully I'll have the show next week. We'll figure it out, but we're going to announce it. And if not, I'm going to announce it in community or I'm going to put it in my description box or I'm going to announce it at one of my videos. But somehow you're going to know we have three winners for the Sunday's Mother's Day gift basket, which we actually drew the name from all the comments. So it's always good when you watch our show to comment, okay? Because you never know. Thank you so much, Margaret. Totally, totally just slip me for today's show thank you for reminding me all right so and if you are if you watch last week show your name is in the box okay if you watch last week's show last week's sunday chit chat your name is in it so definitely come back for our next sunday chit chat to find out the winner of the mother's day basket now can i use tea tree oil directly on my face for acne now when it comes on to essential oils essential oils are very concentrated highly concentrated i do not suggest that you use any essential oil directly on the skin 
you are going to mix it with a carrier oil. Now for acne, you want a very light oil that will not clog the pores. One such oil is like the grapeseed oil. So a tablespoon of grapeseed oil to two to three drops of the tea tree oil, blend that together and that is what you use. Not, never ever use any essential oil directly on the skin. Another oil that I like a lot that I recently discovered is the cucumber seed oil and the kiwi oil. Those two oils are very, very light, very mild and perfect for acne, especially the kiwi oil. And I don't have mine nearby. Other than that, I would show it to you. But the kiwi oil is great with that tea tree essential oil. And you can actually get it on like Amazon. Okay. That's where I actually got mine. Now we have, um, Antoinette, I'm new to you. What time on Tuesday? 12 noon Eastern standard time, 12 noon Eastern standard time. So Maya was asking about the daytime show again. And okay. So I just love my subscribers. Always keep me on track for things that I am not Remembering, we have a new person here, Alice Carey. Um, probably not so new. Welcome to the chat. My time is up. I'm just searching to comment to see if I could answer a comment that I might have missed. If you didn't, if you have a question and I didn't answer, come back next week and ask your question. I don't see all the comments. I see maybe half of the comments in my view. The system select the comment. I don't select it. So if you ask a question, I didn't answer, come back and ask again. Does vitamin E help? Please, vitamin E, e is an essential, not an essential oil. Vitamin E oil is an oil that most of you, if you have to have an oil in your collection, you have the vitamin E oil. Most moisturizer contain vitamin E oil. Now you have regular vitamin E oil that comes in several different IU. You have IU starting from 3,500 upwards to even 48,000 an IU. Now the lesser the IU is the is the less effective. The higher the IU is the thicker it, it is. Now if you have like a 3,005 to about a 7,000 or 10,000 IU, use that directly on the skin. Very, very good. Very, very good for your skin. And everything that you're mixing up for your skin, you can drop a bit of a vitamin E oil in it. And if it is over 10,000 IU, use a carrier oil. You can't go wrong with using vitamin E oil on the skin. All right, my time is up. Thank you so much for joining. Come back next week. I'm going to really, really try to have the show next week. And if I'm broadcasting from a noisy location or whatever, you guys bear with me because now I feel bad that I didn't remember to bring the bag on the show for the Mother's Day giveaway. So even if I come on for 15 to 20 minutes next week, even just to share the winners for the Mother's Day, because you all know I don't like to miss this show any at all. Thank you so much for joining. Go and watch the 25 Day Skincare Challenge, especially for my new subscribers. You definitely will reap a lot of benefit from watching those videos. And go on my website and go and get that printout where you can start your own skincare routine check out chichibeauty.com over there we have videos we have videos for overnight remedies we share the the printout from 28 days printout we share remedies for skin peel and so on and so forth so check it out especially if you want to take your skin from dull rough looking skin to a more amazing looking skin. Thank you so much for watching Sunday Chit Chat every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good evening and I look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday for our weekdays with Chichi Beauty. Be good to yourself, love yourself, and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.